So there's a natural upwards force that happens to cause this to come up. So I'm not actually like, what do you call like moving the arms up like this. I'm also combining a natural like upwards force that, that occurs when you do this. Let's bring it down. Oh, oh yep, yep. Okay. This is Saga Dead. All right, so we'll, we'll watch it. Same sort of thing. They're fighting it. There, he's already made the adjustment. <laughs> you can see the guy on the right. He, he already knows it. He already knows what's going to happen. Just because I have the cues now. While I'm starting to sense the pool dissipates, I know that it has me already. <laughs> yeah. And it feels weird. While he's doing the adjustments, even I, he feels lighter, a lighter. It feels like I'm gripping nothing. So, this is kind of what I meant when you asked me how does it feel or like when when you're doing movements and things the other guy was saying it, it feels lighter and lighter and lighter to me it also feels like there's nothing in my way so i know it's going to work and then boom <laughs> but you're literally not using any more strength than just that no 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 and that's it you know you're not trying to like shoulder it down and and any moving the shoulder is just simply because you know the arm has to move along that pathway it's not that you're like trying to power down no, 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 no. With your shoulders. I mean, if you want a dramatic effect, you you can do it a little bit faster. But if you go too fast, then you hit a block again because you've mm -hmm. added. Um, if you actually, and then the slower you go, the more it's kind of like, it feels like a crushing sensation afterwards. <laughs> but uh, depending on the other person's conditioning, of course. But you don't have to do any more than that. Just, just a little bit. By the way, I've been guilty of putting on too many like additives. I was just working with uh, Guerno the other day. I was trying to do Agate. I was trying to add something extra basically. And then I was like, is this better? He's like, uh, no, I think you're actually like blocking yourself. I'm like, you're crazy. I'm, I'm, I should, oh wait, no, I am. So that, that there's a, there's a, there's a big caveat there. Like when you do this stuff, like Mike says, whatever you do, like you need to be able to do it like when arc adds something like his chest drop the actual work done here for him is probably like really light he's not trying to add anything extra here um he's only moving either his chest or his tannen area um and try just trying to move it through space and then there's a drop that happens like that's like really fast and then you get that extra uh you get the extra crushing effect where he just like drops people yeah, that, that <laughs> the first time I felt that, by the way, I was like, what the heck just happened? It felt like <laughs> yeah. you just you get pulled down so rapidly. You can't tell where it's coming from. And, yep. you know, going going back to the arms and shoulder. I mean, if, if you try, if you really try that, if someone's got their hands on your wrists and you're trying to pull them down like that and you're using the arm and shoulder, you're going to pop yourself up. You've got actually less to work with because you're pushing yourself off the ground. So, you know, I, I think there's a lot of misunderstanding when people see this exercise as to, as to what you're actually doing. Um, um, I'll drop a tidbit here, actually. Um, if your arms are out here and your arms are essentially, it's a load. And let's say for argument's sake, like you're counterbalancing so that they feel light, et cetera. As you bring your arms back and it can be locally for now, you just move your arms towards your body and you slowly, slowly bring your center, like your center axis, towards the arms. There's something like really weird that happens to your body where it feels like something gathers towards the middle of your body, like a partly a stretch, partly some kind of wavery feeling. And then at some point it starts moving back. And when that happens, as I start to come to my heels, um, there's a force that comes up basically like this. Conversely, like if I start from here and I start and I'm supporting this weight from the top. Instead of 
trying to just bring it down. It's like I'm trying to pull my body up onto a uh, onto a pull-up bar. My chest comes towards my hands, and then I'm bringing this really heavy weight down onto my onto my collarbone, and then this pressure comes down. And when that happens, is if somebody's grabbing you here, that means that. Once I can access my center line and my hot hour, whatever, I could direct it slightly backwards. There's a natural upwards force that happens to cause this to come up. So I'm not actually like, what do you call like moving the arms up like this. I'm also combining a natural like upwards force that, that occurs when you do this. And then conversely, like if I'm, we're hanging onto like these imaginary bars and I start basically leaning forwards like this, then you get a natural um, gravity assist, like downwards force. And that's what crushes the person. If only there was and an exercise that to... we did that looked like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there, there, and yes, uh, shameless plug, there is an exercise um, that will accelerate your training if i mean if you want to if you want to be able to do agate sagate type movements more cleanly like we have an exercise for that that actually kudos to arc he, he's the one that came up with this not me i'm not gonna take credit for that but yeah he came up with a really really good um exercise uh using a tool i'm not going to say what that tool is but um i'm sure if you uh if you think about it hard enough, it's pretty easy to imagine what it is. <laughs> <laughs>